I'm Helen Davis, an employee of the DeWitt District Library, and I'm currently reading In Sunlight and Shadow by Mark Helprin. Novel starts in 1946. Uh, Harry Copeland sees a beautiful woman on the Staten Island Ferry. Um, she gets off before he's even had a chance to see her face. He had just thought that she was so beautiful from the way that she carried herself, her figure. He was entranced by her. Um, so what he did was, for several days thereafter, he waited at the Staten Island Ferry and finally was able to meet her. Um, they become involved and um, Harry is an ex-paratrooper who was uh, part of an advance group that would go in all the different places, scout things out during World War II. Um, but he has come home to resume the leadership of his family's leather business, luxury leather goods business. And um, it's the beginning of a beautiful love affair, but both uh, Harry and Catherine are keeping secrets from each other. Uh, Harry has not told Catherine that his business is being threatened by the mob that wants protection money. And Harry realizes that Catherine comes from a wealthy family, but all he really knows about her is that she's an aspiring actress. Eventually we find out that she comes from an extremely wealthy family. Um, as the plot goes on, both Catherine and her family would like to help Harry get away from his difficulties with the mob who are demanding especially large protection money from him that will bankrupt his company within about a year. Um, but Harry has developed so much integrity during World War II. He's learned exactly who he is, what he has to do to be able to live with himself. And this problem that they have is at the heart of the novel. Uh, but the language, the description, they're really the star of the book. Uh, I would find myself rereading bits and pieces just because the author has done such a beautiful job of the writing. It's an intriguing book.